Hey guys, I've uh, just been working on a 2009 Honda Ruckus. I uh, bought it new here on the Big Island and it was bogging down uh, big time and I went through all the bo bogging down videos on YouTube. Um, in short, I did reflash the ECU. Wasn't hard, easy to do, didn't help. Um, and then what I ended up doing was um, running the carburetor. Let's see here if I can video how this works out. Um, this vacuum tube came to here and I noticed with this off, if I plugged it, I got full RPMs with my finger. So um, I was realizing that the diaphragm wasn't probably moving enough and the needle wasn't coming up and down. So I took this cover off after I'd already had the carb off and I cleaned the jets, which they were fine. Took this cover off, removed the diaphragm spring and then the needle attached the, di the, the diaphragm. Carburetor cleaner down in the hole, made it really um, clean. And then um, made double sure that my air cleaner in this area was well sealed around the housing. Um, it was popping out. I don't know if that had an effect on the vacuum, the amount of vacuum on that tube, but basically that needle inside the carburetor wasn't getting pulled up to allow more fuel flow. Um, and so anyhow, I have a feeling it was mainly the needle, not uh, the lack of vacuum. Um, I've seen some discussion about cutting the spring down a little bit so there's less pressure on the spring. I encourage you to check that out. But I wanted to let you know what worked for me and now I've got full R R RPMs. It's running great. If I had, if I encounter this again, the first thing I'm going to do is take this apart and, uh, and make sure that needle's moving. Good luck.